In this video, we'll go to Asturias and I'll share my three must experience activities with you. Asturias is one of Spain's 17 autonomous communities, like their states, located in the northwest of Spain. These experiences are going to take place across four cities, so I'll note where we are in the corner as we go. We're going to start with a Sidra experience. Sidra is cider in English. And it is a full-on experience there, so let's go. We'll start out in Aviles, at a restaurant I really enjoyed called Tierra Astur. My favorite part of the experience was the Sidra. You can see it in that green bottle there. Asturias is famous for its natural cider bottled without gas. I think it's 5-6% to 6 alcohol content, give or take. When sidra is served in Asturias, it's poured in a particular way. El escanciado. 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 The CI in most of Spain is pronounced like a th. The bottle is held above the head, allowing for a longer distance pour, which causes the cider to be aerated as it splashes into the glass, which makes up for it not being carbonated. Seriously, can we just take a second to appreciate how he did not spill the sidra all over himself or the bar? I mean, some of these Asturians don't even look at the glass when they're pouring. It's just like, hey, <laughs> it's awesome. The glass the sidra is poured into is called a culin. So if you were at a bar, you might ask for just a culin rather than the whole bottle. But the bottles are so cheap. I want to say under three euros, so you might as well get the bottle. You're supposed to drink the whole culin as soon as it's poured while it's still got the bubbles. But honestly, it's so tasty. I enjoyed it even when I did go against the directions and let it sit for a few minutes. To me, Spanish sidra is not like ciders I've tried in the U.S., which are generally too sweet and really filling, so I prefer it. One last fun note about sidra is that you may see your server pour the remaining kind of leftover sidra you have in your glass onto the ground, which is kind of odd at first because you're like, why are you getting things dirty? But I've read this is to get rid of the lees or remaining yeast residue in your glass before pouring the next round. Though I have heard that this stems from Asturian mythology, where you're supposed to give like an offering to the earth for providing the apples that the sidra comes from. So it's like, you know, one for my homie, the earth. Don't worry, that, that was water. <laughs> in some cities I'd say, you need to hit this museum or that monument. But in Asturias, I really just had the best time walking around. In Gijón, the largest city in Asturias, with a population of about 270,000, you have the beach, Playa de San Lorenzo. Whether you're there in the summer or winter like we were, it's a beautiful spot. It doesn't get very cold in the coastal areas of Asturias, roughly mid-50s Fahrenheit in the winter. So we found the citizens of Gijón made their own winter fun. <laughs> if you're by the beach, I'd walk up to the Santa Catalina headland for some nice views of the water and city. If you're looking for a quaint, picturesque fishing town, you might want to check out Gudiero. The capital of Asturias is Oviedo, and with its outdoor statues, impressive buildings, and markets, it was also a pleasure to stroll through. And if you can stop on your way to any of these cities in the Picos de Europa National Park to check out the mountains, I'd recommend it. And we cannot talk about the obligatory experiences in Asturias without discussing the traditional dishes. From what I understand, the most typical Asturian dish is fabada asturiana. Faves are the large white beans in the dish. Fabada is a rich stew with pork shoulder, blood sausage, and chorizo a spicy sausage. Our best meals on this trip were in Aviles, which is not far from the coast and had great seafood. The vieiras, scallops, were delicious, and I was initially not all that enthused about an order of scallops. Cachopo is another traditional dish. It has two beef fillets with ham and cheese in the middle, and the whole thing's breaded. Then there's escalopines al cabrales, breaded beef with melted queso de cabrales, a type of blue cheese, on top. Chorito a la sidra is another popular one, so spicy sausage and a sidra sauce. I also really enjoy grilling our own meat at Tierra Astur. All the places we went to were super affordable. I actually took a picture of the receipt here because we were so stuffed to the brim and the bill was only 26 euros and 70 cents. So that's Asturias, guys. I would highly recommend a visit. I'd love to hear what you thought about the sidra, the food, or the sights in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up to help it reach more people. And if you haven't, hit subscribe and the bell for notifications so we can stay connected. I'll see you in the next one.